Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle stade louis Dur, not one of the biggest grounds but certainly one that serves up a very unique atmosphere jim how are you reading the formation yes and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organize things very quickly. We have already started here. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Look at the goal! He's got away with one there. Could be the big chance! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, it was just some way we're passing that let the opposition in then and I have to say a very lucky escape you lose it there you expect to be punished Hawkins. out to the left it goes Guaita catches it safely Crystal Palace have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Well positioned to make that interception. Ramsey. And it's played forward. And we're not going to make any further progress now. It's on a plate! Aston Villa have it back and they can go again. about that I think they've perfected that on the train again because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too it was all very well drilled <laughs> Aston Villa break the deadlock yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Zaha really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Ayu. Ducouré goes looking. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal and he didn't go for the back heel. That's a good ball to find him. You see. Klein drives it forward. Over to the left. Back into the middle. Anderson. Forward it goes. Konsa gets into the right position to intercept. Saha. He's got options out wide. Easy! Oh, it's gone in! Well, 
that wasn't in the script, and you have to feel for him, Peter. It's ended in uh, some embarrassment. Fortuitous as it may have been, they all count one. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. And there's the end of the first half. Well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. Well, the score... So once again, we're underway. Aston Villa clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Chambers. And it's Moreno. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Cross from Moreno. Schlupp. Schlupp passes it forward. Hoists it forward. You see. Watkins, looking as though he's being given special treatment here, treatment he could well do without. Well, as a presence, Peter, he's the important link, so he attracts most attention. Breaks on here. Watkins, out towards the flank. Dina. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Ah, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. And the chances keep on coming, they're awarded another corner. Mateta plays it forward. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Crossed in. You see, tries to get it forward quickly. And it's played forward. Then Donka. Pumps it in. in with a header! Goal at his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. It's a very watchable game, isn't it? Any goal from here could, could well be the winner. Anderson. Played in with accuracy. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Steered forward. Then Donka. What a going for goal! Another chance! Goal! Villa! And they get themselves in front! Watkins with a predatory goal. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick minded was that? This is what we've been waiting for. Look, I just think they've kept at it and got their reward. Now they need to hang on to it. Oh, no question, that's a foul.
Crystal Palace have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Moreno. Oh, that's nice. That intervention was very necessary. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Forward it goes. And that's that. Aston Villa come out on top. Hard fought, impossible to predict. In the end, though, only the result mattered. Thrilling, nail-biting, perhaps frustrating until the very end, but we do have a winner. Well, this looks like...